the value of an egg to someone depends on what kind of an egg is it. Is it a Faberge egg? Is it a chicken egg? Is it a quail egg? Is it a duck egg? Is it something that someone can actually eat? Or is it the spawn of Satan in an egg form that men and women don't know what to do with? They might be able to scientifically drill it. They might be able to open it. They might be able to unleash it. But what are they unleashing? Are they unleashing a dragon that's so large that they can't handle it? Or are they unleashing a creature that has been dormant for a long time? Marvelously, we often find things in nature that we didn't know still existed. Could be prehistoric. You never know what will come out of it. And hopefully you'll have to have a military brigade around it just in case it is something that's marvelous but terrifying. The life of a man is never right by God. We all know this from the fact that we are all sinners and we all fall short of the Lord's house. But when we intentionally fall short, when we intentionally abuse others, when we intentionally mark others, when we intentionally lie to others, when we pretend to do things on behalf of our churches, when we pretend to do things on behalf of our groups, when we pretend to collect money for someone and then spend it on ourselves, we really put ourselves at odds with the Lord's house. You might get away with it for the short term, but you will never get away with it for the long term. The long term of life of a person is long term. But how we go out of this earth is up to God. An abuser might lose all his daily living skills at the end of his life whenever the Lord calls him home. A rude person might lose the ability to speak, and openly that happens to people who are weak. The lifeblood of a human being is not their lifeblood exactly. It is Christ's blood that flows through every human being across the world. So when we think about lying to our brother, we're lying to ourselves. When we think about the Telemud, we know this is true. When we think about lying to other people, we know that we are lying again to ourselves. And when we lie to ourselves, what do we lie to ourselves about? The liar of America thinks he knows a man's soul. And a man's soul belongs to God, not to man. And what Jesus often said was, Give your tithing to Caesar, but give your soul to God. And openly people often misabuse that statement, that they think that God is just man. Man is not a god. Woman is not a god. But people like to be princes and princesses around the world. They like to be kings and queens of heaven's old rings. But here's what I can tell you. Those with the rings of kings and queens may not be kings and queens before the Lord. They may be the liar and the thieves of things. The liar and the thieves of things are never higher than those who submit themselves in humbleness to the Lord's house.